Hi everyone, welcome back. I'll be showing you how I make this face and body butter. I wanted to make a whipped butter that I could use on my face and body that was light and not greasy. But I wanted to use ingredients that would help with improving my skin tone, my complexion. So those are the ingredients I used and also to just improve the appearance of my skin. So I'm going to show you exactly how I make this butter. So let's go on and jump right in. The two main butters that I used were cocum and shea butter because they are very lightweight and they absorb very quickly into the skin and they will also not clog your pores. If this is your first time watching any of my videos, you are welcome. My name is Esther and I make DIY natural hair and skincare videos and I have a bunch of other helpful DIY videos that you would also enjoy watching. Feel free to make substitutions and adjustments that work best for you, your skin type, but I would avoid heavy butters like uh, cocoa butter and heavy oils like uh, coconut oil since you want to be able to use this on your face as well. For the carrot infused oil, I will link the video uh, showing how I made this oil, um, but this is amazing for your skin as well. So to get started, I'm going to melt my butters. I'm just going to put everything in my jar and I'm going to um, put this over a um, container that has hot water so I can melt down the butters. I'm going to start adding the rest of my oils to my melted butter. I'm also going to be using some arrowroot powder just to help with uh, some of the greasiness from the butter and the oil. Of course, you can leave this out. Um, so I'm just going to put that in my oil. I'm going to mix it very well. Since it's still warm, it's going to dissolve um, really quickly. So once dissolved, I'm going to put uh, my mixture in the fridge um, to harden up a little bit. And this is what the consistency looks like. So I'm going to start whipping up this mixture. I'm going to use my whisk. Um, usually I use my handheld mixer when I'm making a large amount or my stand mixer. But since this is a small amount for myself, I'm using my whisk. So you want to whip this up for a couple of minutes so that way it can get light and fluffy. Make sure to scrape down the sides of your jar so that way you can get every bit of butter well mixed and well whipped. I have a blend of oils and essential oils that I'm going to be adding to my mixture. I have some sea buckthorn oil which is amazing for skin hydration. I have my vitamin E oil. Then I also have my lemon oil and then I used turmeric oil and i also use tea tree oil so please don't feel you have to use every single oil that i did but i wanted to use oils that i knew would be beneficial for my skin and would actually work of course with natural products um, if you're expecting results in one week um, then you might want to look for something else natural products take time to work um, i would say give it at least four to six weeks so I added the oil and then I'm just going to whip some more. So however long um, you want to whip is up to you. It depends on the consistency that you want. So I just whipped for about five minutes. 
added about 10 drops of my fragrance oil turmeric essential oil has a strong smell um, what I will say is if you're using um, lemon oil you want to be careful because of uh, skin irritation and sensitivity um, of your skin to the sun um, so I am going to link uh, essential oil calculator in the description box it just shows how much to use um, in your uh, formulation when you're making your recipe so you want to pay attention to how much you put in if you use too much essential oils you can actually irritate your skin and make it worse and this is what the consistency looks like it is light it is fluffy um, so the choice of butters that you use definitely makes a difference in your final uh, product um, with any body butter it will last up to a year you still want to avoid water getting into your product it does not need preservatives since water was not used in making this so i'm just going to put this in my um, containers this made almost 18 ounces of product and these containers are four ounce uh, jars so with the body butter this is meant to um, brighten up your skin tone even out your skin tone but it's not meant to bleach or lighten you up any more than you already are so i hope you found this helpful i hope you found this useful and this body butter is loaded with amazing ingredients and feel free to make substitutions i will have all the measurements in the description box i'm going to show you how well this applies and how quickly it absorbs into the skin with this butter a little goes a very long way and if you're using it on your face you just need a very tiny amount so i put that on my hand and just watch how quickly it absorbs that's also due to the arrowroot uh, powder so go on and try this out let me know how yours turns out and if you like this recipe and please go on and subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed and turn on your notifications so that way you don't miss any new videos that i upload and please don't forget to like this video as well and until the next video be well and take care and also have a wonderful easter and i'll see you in the next video bye bye